Yeah. All right. Um, so today I'm going to be reading from more like this, which is an Italy Falls Press publication. Uh, it's a bunch of remixes of BBC News articles that I made back in 2019. There's two sections, each uh, reworking articles from different days. So I'm going to be reading the summer section, which was sometime around July in 2019. Um, I wanted to sort of see what happens to really like professional and polished sort of the journalistic language when you take out the facts and sort of make the meaning absurd, which is why I started making these. And then kind of inadvertently they become like um, little time capsules of what everything was like before the world ended. So um, there is some, uh, there's some Brexit and some Donald Trump in here, so I apologize. Um, anyway, the, the first one is called Members Are Thrown Out Unceremoniously. The DUP was angry. The DUP reacted angrily. Party members are voting on who should succeed. Most of the seats are first come, first served. The public prepared for an attack by more than one drone. The spokesman confirmed there are no plans. The public are robust enough to work the storm. This next poem is called Wimbledon, How to Survive. <laughs> Mr. Johnson is shaking your tent and shouting, waking people up at 5 a.m. Mr. Johnson told the BBC that we want calm and peaceful inmates to repatriate. Mr. Johnson overpowered him, forcing him to kiss the princess's feet. Mr. Johnson doubled the number of staff dedicated to dealing with complaints. Mr. Johnson turned stark white said this was a reflection of how complex it is. Mr. Johnson has said only that he's not embarrassed. This next one is called The Bad News. You do not write about suicide or suicide attempts. It has an adult theme, it needs a large area of land. We are introducing something that is great by banning rescue ships, comparing them with kinder eggs without knowing what was inside them. We are not quite sure what it's going to do. It may have been a throwaway comment. This next poem is called Stop Washing Our Clothes. The party has been trying to ease restrictions on entertainment. Jamming technology permeates the party machine. If the technology was scaled up and used globally, it could, in theory, show dancing isn't limited to humans. A 2018 study recommends setting the machine to a lower temperature. All this stuff is built for the theater of war. This next one is plans to find. The idea was that she would supervise the planting of a tree. The idea could make a major difference in sunny climates. Sir David said we can't be radical enough when taking a shovel and digging into the earth. MPs had tabled a series, say this is a watershed moment. More than 40 million households watched the show. Submitted in advance and selected by the broadcaster. Newsnight recommends many issues. Some of them are very, very young and sometimes they post things. Determined to root out this social cancer, Parliament writes a letter. The public mood was changing in line with the standards of the old press. The kids emptied our bank. Jeremy Corbyn said he could not say, has said, but he does not say what he would do, what Labour's position would be, said he would make a case, said more data was needed, said he could encourage children to love books at least 15 minutes a week. Mr. Corbyn's statement followed a shadow. What have others actually done with this position? Read more. And the final one, lively and occasionally bad-tempered. <laughs> Mr. Hunt responded to Mr. Trump's latest outburst by tweeting plans to regulate popular influences. The public mood was so often ill-judged, a dig at the fact. Mr. Trump was the clear front-runner in the race, having won. Hunt was suspended earlier this year after saying Labour. Boris Johnson, the current Tory, also waited. 